not so old and not um, old. Medium sized, uh, half slash thin legs, blonde. She was like, had crazy hair, smooth hair. No, she was in the farm. Picking apples. Picking apples? Tree. Picking apples from the tree. No, she was gardening. So, uh, Angel came out nowhere, poof. The angel said, be prepared for, cause you're gonna have a baby. Your baby's name is going to be, um, Miss Saya or something like that? Wait, how can a young woman have a baby? Sure, she can have a baby if she wants. She wanna have a baby. And she wanted to get pregnant. She wanted to have a baby. So she got pregnant. On our wedding day. But when she was got pregnant, she was a virgin, which means she was single. Which back then was impossible because divorces didn't happen that often. Angel came in, in a dream to tell Angel stuff that you and your family have to if, um that's what I'm uh, in a different trail. They married each other and then Joseph took Mary to Jerusalem. No. Wait. Bethlehem. Caesar wanted to count all his people because he wanted to say, oh yeah, look how many people I have. And he wanted them to pay taxes where they were born. Joseph was born where you, like in Bethlehem. There was a donkey and, and I, I think Mary was riding it. The donkey gave her a ride because she had a baby in her tummy and it probably, and she probably had a hard time walking with it in her tummy. They traveled fields and fields. I think it was like 1,000 kilometers. First thing they did was went to a whole bunch of inns and they all said they were full and then they went to one inn and said No moving in, but you can go to the stable. My wife is pregnant. Or it won't be com as comfortable as an inn, but it, at least it will be warm. It's not clean. There's a lot of animals in there. No room. Sorry, go to the stables. There's the stables there. Once they got to the farm, the stable, yeah, they, they, this, the baby was still in there waiting for them, and then they came back to, um, and then God created everything. The, there's no much more time for the baby to come out. Probably knew too that the, that we needed that we needed to be quiet when the baby was there because mm. babies because babies cry a lot when there's a lot of noise. It's wrapped her in um, a white cloth, yeah, and then she laid her in the manger. It had a bunch of hay on it so the baby could feel kind of comfortable, but the hay the hay the hay is not comfortable. Oh, and they also had a blankie for the baby. And a pillow. I, I don't think and a pillow. pillow. I don't think a pillow. We'll call you Jesus. Lay me down to sleep and I will wake you up in the morning night. God promised that God promised Mary that she would have a baby and and instead of just a baby he gave her the son of God. Shepherds, they were in the field watching the sheep and then the angel scared them. Said, don't be afraid, I have good news for you. Joseph's daughter, Joseph's wife is has, having a baby. That Jesus got, um, um, that, um, Jesus got burnt born in the barn. I'm an angel, a cloud of angels 
<laughs> came to um um uh, shepherds. <laughs> Jesus Jesus has born. You must see it. Come on. Go to Bethlehem. You bet I bet he has chubby cheeks. And really cute. They traveled fields and fields just to get to the manger. A long, long time, like a night time, and then, and then it was wake up time, then it was night time, then it was light, and then it was night time again. It took a, day, a few days after that just for them to get to baby Jesus. Yeah. Like, and while that's happening, poof, a star. A star appears up to the wise men. Oh, oh, that star is so bright. Um, they went to King Herod and King Herod said, may you please tell me where the child was born so that I too will can worship him, but he was lying. He wanted to find out who the child was so that he could kill him. But the people, diso the wise men disobeyed and brought silver, gold, and bronze. And this nice smelling stuff that they bury you with, or used to bury you with. Apparently it stunk and smell it, smelled good at the same time. So it didn't smell good and it smelled good. The three persons had a donkey to um, ride the um, donkeys to the, um, um, the, the, um, the, the stable, the farm, the stable, yep. And then they got there then to see them and then they had a baby, that's all I know. I thought they traveled on camels. It was probably dark. Then there dark. was a hole in the roof and the star shined down onto the place where the baby was. And, and the shepherds and the three wise men bowed down, but not the parents. They bowed to the baby because they knew that the baby was baby Jesus. You're so cute. You're gonna be grown up soon. I don't know what you say to a kid that you know is gonna save the world. <laughs> You're gonna be king in the world. Happy birthday, Jesus. That be like, 